Hello and welcome to the studio of the WSIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event here in Geneva. I'm delighted to tell you that our next guest is Dr Chow. He's Huawei's Vice President for European Public Affairs. Welcome. Thank you. My pleasure to be here today. Let me begin by asking you, how is Huawei working on the digital inclusion? Digital inclusion refers to have the equal access and the use of information and communication technologies by group and individuals. So from Huawei point of view, we think that's very essential in the digital era. So that's the reason Huawei created a Tech for All digital inclusion project from four years ago. The purpose is about to enabling an inclusive and sustainability digital world for everyone. Because while we see the development, also even acceleration of the digital transformation in our society, we see the potential digital divide is getting widening. And we see in our world there were still 2.6 billion people are not be able to be connected um, by internet. Um, and we see the young children could be have, could have the difficulty to have the access of online education. The elderly people could have the difficulty for the use of the smartphone. And the young generation could be excluded from the digital development opportunities. So it's very important we work together to address this, this issue. And what's been your experience uh, of this? We believe to address this issue, it's about to make the best use of the technology and to make sure the technology could bring the social and economy benefit to our society for everyone. So that it's important to work together with partners. Um, there's a famous saying, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So by working with the partners within the ecosystem, that we're able to share knowledge with cross-sector understanding. Huawei knows the digital technology better than others, but other sectors know what kind of challenges, difficulties they're experiencing and expecting the support from the digital side. So such a kind of a partnership creating very unique, very useful and valuable collaboration eventually to address the, the essential, essential issues um, when we talk about uh, digital inclusion um, everywhere, no matter in Asia or in Middle East, Africa, even come back to Europe. So it's always important. We need to use the, digital, use the best part of the digital technology to ov overcome the challenges we are facing today. And you mentioned uh, earlier, but uh, remind me again, what are the opportunities and the challenges for connecting the unconnected? Well, from the ITU that data point of view, we see there were two kinds of um, divide. The first is regional divide. The second is urban rural divide. So the f go back to the first regional divide is today we have 2.6 billion, which is one third of the global population are not be able to be connected. So different regions uh, have different status. For example, in Africa, there's only 58% of the 4G coverage. In Arab region, that figures improved to 68%, um, but still need a huge effort because we are emerging from 4G to 5G now. So it requires all the regions to take effort to grasp the opportunity of the digital connectivity. When we talk about the urban-rural divide, um, the people living in the urban areas, normally 80%, 80% of the people have the opportunity to have the access to the internet. Well, that figure dropped to 50%. Uh, and also from certain areas, we see such kind of a urban, you know, uh, rural divide getting bigger and much bigger. So this could also generate a significant issue, how to 
we maintain the sustainable development of the rural areas. So connectivity play a key role, like the water and the electricity. Fascinating. Dr. Chow from Huawei, thank you so much for uh, coming in today and sharing your ideas with us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. More coming up on this channel from the WISIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event.